Welcome back to M. Ratthitch channel, the best place to learn table tennis. The video has the subtitle. Please turn on captioning for better understanding. Jishan Liang, Team USA, is disqualified due to rubber too thick. Controversy erupts during Jishan Liang's match in USA versus Kazakhstan. Jishan Liang of Team USA was disqualified during a match against Kazakhstan due to his racket's rubber being too thick. This sparked debate and scrutiny, with opinions divided on the matter. Some argue that there's no sympathy for players caught using equipment that exceeds the maximum thickness allowed. Boosting, while contentious, is sometimes seen as a common practice, albeit frowned upon. However, surpassing the maximum thickness threshold crosses the line into outright cheating, leaving no room for leniency. During the USA vs Kazakhstan match, the issue of Liang's racket thickness came to the forefront. Questions arose regarding the procedures for racket inspection both before and after the match. It's unclear why Liang did not submit his racket for pre-match testing. Was it a deliberate choice or due to circumstances beyond his control? Additionally, were other members of the USA men's team subjected to post-match racket tests or was Liang singled out? The sequence of events raises concerns about the fairness and integrity of the competition. If Liang's racket was indeed found to be over the thickness limit during post-match testing, why was he allowed to compete initially? The sudden shift in the score, from a tied match to Liang losing all games by a significant margin, adds to the confusion. Reports indicate that Liang attempted to switch to another racket during the match which was noticed by Team Kazakhstan and reported to the organizers. Subsequent testing revealed that the replacement racket also violated regulations regarding thickness limits, leading to Liang's disqualification. So, please remember, 1. You are not allowed to change the racket without the agreement of the umpire. 2. You're not allowed to use the booster. The thickness allowed is only 4 mm total thickness. If the racket is too thick, you are disqualified. The incident underscores the importance of rigorous enforcement of equipment regulations and fair play in competitive sports. While Liang's case may have been an isolated incident, it raises broader questions about the prevalence of rule violations and the need for consistent monitoring and enforcement measures. Read more about table tennis on my blog, pingsunday.com. Get free ebook and coaching advices. See you in the next video.